Hello, it's about the middle of 2020, the year of the coronavirus pandemic. So I thought I'd take a look at some of the numbers here in Los Angeles County and see where we're at. Now, these are some of the numbers of confirmed cases that I wanna talk about. And if you look at this chart, this shows the number of new cases as orange bars, and then the cumulative total number of cases as that green line uh, on a different scale. So each bar represents how many new cases were reported on that day. So way back on March 4th, Los Angeles County declared a state of emergency and confirmed six new cases, and then 11 cases as of March 6th. But then on March 19th, there was a stay at home order from the governor of California, and that day we added in LA County 213 new cases to bring the total to 2073. Then by the end of March, we were averaging 450 new cases per day. But now it's been April, May, and June, and so where are we at now? It's been a few months of wearing masks, and we've been practicing social distancing, or now we were calling it physical distancing, I guess because we still want to remain social. And things have started to open up. The restaurants are open. You can eat inside restaurants. Uh, you can go to salons and barbers. Some retail is open. And so in general, it seems like people have been wearing masks a little bit less than they were way back in March. Okay, so why are things opening up? Are things getting better? Are the numbers changing? Well, it turns out that different cities or different metro areas within the United States have had their peaks at different times. Let's take a look at this chart by Ben Gregory using the New York Times data. This shows when the peak was for various different cities. So for example, Seattle on April 1st had more new cases than any other day. Whereas if you look down towards the bottom, Washington DC, Milwaukee, near the end of May is when they had the peak number of most new cases per day. So what about LA County? Let's look at the rest of this graph. Instead of 450 new cases per day at the end of March, we averaged 1,700 cases per day last week with uh, 2,300 new cases on Thursday alone. So today is actually the fourth straight day of 2,000 plus new cases reported in LA County. In fact, last week, 117 people died, bringing the total above 3,400. Let's look back at this chart. Although these cities are past their peak, let's look at the rest of the chart. It turns out that many metro areas are currently in the middle of the peak. In other words, they are experiencing higher per day additions of new cases than they ever have before, including Los Angeles. In fact, the majority of these cities or metro areas have had their peak within the past few days, which is pretty sobering. Okay, so a couple of things. First of all, this is just using the official data from the New York Times website, which comes from the county health departments. And so there are lots of other factors happening here. First of all, there are more tests being given, so of course you're gonna get more positives. But in general, I think the trend is pretty sobering that shows that we're probably right in the middle of the worst part of the pandemic right now, this week. Or at least we're in the worst of the pandemic so far. Who knows what the future will hold? And I did see some news just this afternoon that's saying that it's possible that LA County and the state in general are gonna start rolling back some of the recent openings to make uh, restrictions come back into place. So we'll see what happens. One more little tidbit, maybe on a lighter note. I mentioned earlier that we're about halfway through the year, and I have a question for you. When is it exactly halfway through the year? I mean, exactly halfway between Happy New Year 2020 and Happy New Year 2021. The answer this year is July 3rd at 1 a.m. because it's a leap year. On a non-leap year, it would be July 2nd at 1 p.m. And it's not July 1st because there are more longer months near the second half of the year than near the beginning of the year. And it's at 1 p.m. and 1 a.m. Do you know why? The answer is because of daylight saving time. Finally, daylight saving time has one S in it. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I will see you guys next time.